and use it new. A recent federal study shows alternative medicine is going mainstream. It's becoming so popular that physicians, including some here in Chicago, are integrating alternative therapies into their practices. Dr. Stanley Colby has the story. A recent government survey of 31,000 people finds more than one-third of American adults use some sort of alternative approach to medicine. And the total number of those turning to unconventional medicine jumps to about 62% if you count prayer therapy. The study conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta also found 19% of adults take natural or herbal products to treat chronic pain. 13% mindfully meditate their stress away or practice yoga. 8% get a kraken at the chiropractor. One Chicago fertility doctor is also on the fringe, integrating acupuncture into his in vitro fertilization practice. Dr. Randy Morris says he's excited by early results. We've had a few dozen patients uh, who have attempted it, and I think about two-thirds have achieved the pregnancy. Dr. Mary Charlson of the Center for Complementary and Integrative Medicine at Weill Medical College in New York regularly incorporates traditional healing into her medical research. We're looking at the use of energy yoga in patients who've had, um, who are being treated with chemotherapy to see if we can ameliorate the fatigue. She says other scientific studies already show unconventional therapies can enhance quality of life. For older patients who are at risk for falls, Tai Chi has been shown to be helpful in reducing falling. Meantime, health officials say err on the side of caution if you're considering using alternative medicine. Talk to your doctor first before putting your personal health in your own hands. In New York, Jamie Colby, Fox News.